an all expenses paid trip to a secluded billionaire's private island? What could possibly go wrong? Hi, my name is Ryan Lane and welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing Blink Twice. Directed by Zoe Kravitz in her directorial debut and starring Naomi Aki, Channing Tatum, Christian Slater, Simon Rex, Adria Arjona, Kyle MacLachlan, Haley Joel Osment, Gina Davis, and Aaliyah Shakat. So the film follows Frida, played by Naomi Aki, and her friend Jess, played by Aaliyah Shakat, as they perform uh, duties at a rich people's gala complete with white walls and red tables. <laughs> Nothing symbolic there. Anyway, while there, they come across reclusive retired billionaire Slater King, played by Channing Tatum. Uh, they are so charmed by him that when he extends them the offer to travel to his secluded private island, they're like, heck yeah, let's, let's go. What could possibly go wrong? A lot does go wrong, but I'll get to that in a moment. Anyway, so finding themselves on island, they're having a great time. They've got decadent meals, a sweet-ass pool, and the champagne flows freely, baby. But, you know, there's just a few problems. They seem to have uh, issues with their memory, and uh, there are venomous snakes all around that the uh, staff seems a little too... Uh, preoccupied with uh, attacking. Eventually, Frida starts to suspect that everything on this island isn't quite as it seems. So the writing is stellar and features a bunch of excellent, well-done setups and payoffs. I mean, there are some where I went, hmm, gee, I wonder where that's going. And to the film's credit, like, while it does go kind of where I expected, the film goes one step further and I was like, oh, okay, all right, all right. And, and then there are just some plot twists that were like, oh, wow, okay, I did not expect you to go in that direction with said setup. All right, good job there. Uh, plus, the film does a great job at combining the writing with great cinematography and editing to help show how the days kind of blur into each other and how the island itself seems almost mystically disconnected from time itself with the days just blurring into each other and the dull monotony of, you know, of champagne and fancy meals. I mean, you know, sounds fun at first, but, you know, after, you know, the first, oh, say five or six times, it starts to wear its, how it's welcome. Uh, I'd say the only slight issue with the, the writing is the pacing, it, as at one point the film lays down sort of a ticking time bomb of sorts, where you don't know when the said bomb is going to go off. Again, it, more metaphorical than literal. And while it does lead to some great suspense, it kind of just left me going, okay, hey, uh, you going to go off anytime soon? Again, it's not terrible. You don't have to wait a long time. It's definitely a slow burn, but if it could just maybe been a slightly quicker slow burn, like, again, just minutes, like, not even five, five minutes at most, and we could have, you know, easily had an uptick in quality here. And as many of you might have heard, uh, this film is complete with a trigger warning that's, that is shown before the start of the movie, and uh, for better words, the film does earn its trigger warning. Uh, again, all jokes notwithstanding, the film does earn it just because, like, it Combined with the writing and the cinematography, the film shows just in horrific but never gratuitous fashion just what's going on on the island and yeesh. So the performances are stellar and the ensemble cast, they work well off each other perfectly since a lot of the scenes involve the actors sitting around a table of one form or another and they all interact at, off each other like they've known each other for quite a long time. Uh, longer than you would think. <laughs> anyway, uh... Naomi Aki, she uh, brings a lot of energy to the role of Frida, a, uh, a Slater King fangirl with equal parts uh, love for justice and love for Slater King. Uh, Aliyah Shakat, uh, she brings a free willing, wheeling yet cautious energy to the role of Jess. And along with her and uh, the Frida character, these two actresses have great chemistry together. I have an easy time believing they've been friends and roommates for years and they have been through it they're about to be through a lot more but, but yeah i believe in their friendship and that's been around for a long time chang tam he plays uh, the reclusive billionaire slayer king with such subtlety that he conv successfully convinces frida 
and the audience at certain points in the movie into believing that this ain't that kind of movie. Spoiler alert, it is. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, Adria Arjona, she uh, continues her winning streak hot off of Hitman uh, with uh, the role of Sarah. She is a uh, bitter reality TV star with an adventurous spirit, yet she's been worn down by the cynical uh, sort of, you know, just nature of Hollywood itself. Haley Joel Osment is fun as the uh, has-been sitcom actor with a penchant for snacking. And Levon Hawk, he brings what can be best described as golden retriever energy to the role of Lucas, a Slater Industries uh, intern. So thanks to confident direction, lush visuals, and amazing ensemble cast, uh, Blink Twice proves to be an impressive calling card for new director Zoe Kravitz. So with all that in mind, I will be giving Blink Twice four out of five stars. Anyway... Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. If you like this review and would like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And for today's comment section prompt of the day, what is your favorite suspense thriller and why?